Hey guys, it's Maddie. In this video, I'm just gonna do a very quick and dirty how to use images and image occlusion in Remnote. So first let's talk about a few ways to import images into Remnote. The first way is to just click and drag. The second way is to copy and paste. Uh, let me just actually demonstrate this. So find an image that you wanna copy, select copy image and control V to paste it into Remnote. The third way is to use control plus G, which is an option that allows you to insert an image URL. So some images can be copied as an image address and you can paste that in Remnote. The image should show up if it's accepted and just hit insert image. All right, now let's go over how to actually generate image occlusions. I'm just gonna full screen here. So image occlusion flashcards are images where you block out parts of the image and you can use active recall to remember what was behind that image. Let me demonstrate how to make that. So with every image that you import into Remnote, you can click on it and there should be an option to generate image occlusion cards. You can press this button here or the hotkey A and draw a box around any part of the image that you want to occlude. So in this case, I wanna cover up all the names of the bones in the skull. And you can draw as many boxes as you want. I'm gonna use one box for all three of these since they're kind of close together. And each letter will be an individual flashcard. So for this one picture, I've effectively just made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've just made nine flashcards for this one picture. Now you also have the option to combine some of the boxes to make less flashcards. So to do that, click on any box that you want to merge with another box. So I'm gonna click on B and then hit the merge, which is also the hotkey M. And I can choose where I want to merge this particular box with. If I choose A, then you can see now that both of these two boxes become A. This means that when I'm tested on flashcard A, both of these images will be occluded. Now there's also the hide all test one feature, which hides all of your other image occlusions in the image. This way you might not get spoilers or any hints to what the answer might be. And you can toggle that on with this button here or Alt plus T. And you can kind of preview what that's gonna look like in this box. So these are all hidden and you're being tested on these two. You can also just merge all of the flashcards together if you want by using merge all closes. And you can also unmerge them by using split into new close. Now, just a couple other use cases for image occlusion. Tables are great. You can close off boxes and test yourself that way. Or math problems and chemistry equations. So for this example here, I included the product of this balanced chemical reaction. And I use an extra card detail, which is another power up to reveal kind of the math behind that image occlusion. So let's go ahead and study a couple of these to see what they look like. So here's the balancing equation. And you can see the answer revealed with the extra card detail. Here is the image occlusion on the skull we made. And as you can see, all of the other occlusions are blocked off using the hide all test one feature. And only that answer will be revealed when I study it. All right, that's all for image occlusions. Really useful feature, and I hope that helps.